Hello everyone, you're watching ALTV. I was originally planning to do another Lost Media video about the original THX Cimarron trailer, but I soon realised that due to it not being Lost Media anymore, it wouldn't be all that interesting. And so, while I was thinking of other possible video ideas, I got the idea to rank every single THX trailer from worst to best. Thankfully, the Audiovisual Identity Database has a page containing all of these trailers, meaning ranking them will be fairly easy. I should probably clarify that I'll only be including the main versions of the trailers, as there are so many different variants that including them here would take way too long, and also they generally look basically the same anyway, so it won't matter that much that they're not included. But before we get into the ranking, remember to hit that subscribe button and consider clicking the bell to get notified when I post a new video. But with that out of the way, let's begin the ranking with... Number 22, Ziegfeld. We're starting off this ranking with a trailer I didn't even know existed until making this video. Although I imagine that people that did see it probably still forgot about it because man, this is not an interesting trailer at all. The main problem with this trailer for me is the simplistic animation and the fact that it doesn't fit with the deep note well at all. Also that glow effect looks pretty cheap I gotta say. Overall this trailer is just bland and forgettable, which is why it's at the bottom of this ranking. Number 21, Broadway 2000. A slight improvement over the previous trailer. This time, the animation actually fits with the deep note, and the let's see it in animation looks kinda cool. However, that's where the positives end with this trailer. Once again, it's not particularly interesting, and the shine effect still looks cheap. However, the biggest problem is the new remix deep note. It's, it just sounds bad compared to the original, and almost sounds like a poor recreation of it. Also, I'm not sure why they decided to name it Broadway 2000, as it's almost nothing like the original Broadway trailer. Number 20, Science. This trailer is very similar to Broadway 2000, but I do think it's slightly better. The beginning animation with the text is less interesting, but I do quite like the slogan here, the science of sensation. It just sounds cool. Once again, the shine effect is very cheap, but I do like the little sparkle moves from the tagline to the actual THX logo. Like with Broadway 2000, the Deep Note was remixed for this trailer, but unlike Broadway 2000, it actually sounds pretty good. So much so that it was used in most trailers that came out after this. Number 19, Wings. The trailer that started it all. I know that this trailer is technically more simple than the last three trailers, but considering it was the first ever THX trailer, I thought it would be a little unfair to rank it at the bottom. However, there are actually things this trailer does better than the last three. The biggest thing being the long build up to the logo's reveal. Hearing the deep notes slowly rising while the text implies you're about to experience a revolution in cinema sound makes this logo feel surprisingly epic. And I do like how shiny the logo looks at the end with the blue tint. I don't know, I just think it looks cool. Number 18, Broadway 3D. Yet another trailer I didn't know existed. The animation here is pretty decent and I think the light shining out of the THX logo looked really nice. However, I do wish there was a little more going on. The THX logo just kind of sits there for most of it before zooming in. I think it would have been better if the logo slowly zoomed in before being revealed. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but the THX logo at the end just looks kind of cheap. I don't know, maybe it's the silver texture they use or the fact that it glows slightly, but it just looks dated in my opinion. It does at least resemble the original Broadway trailer at the end though, so unlike Broadway 2000, the name actually makes sense. Speaking of which... Number 17, Broadway. Arguably the most iconic and well-known THX trailer. This trailer is surprisingly effective for how simple it is. Just like Wings, it has the long build-up of the deep note at the beginning, which combined with the somewhat ominous blue rectangle and slogan, really adds to the tension, which is likely why so many people feared THX as a kid, as this was the most commonly seen trailer. Other than that, there isn't too much else to say, aside from the fact that there are many variants of this trailer, with different lengths, text, and even a remastered version from 2010. Number 16, Simpsons. I always forget that this one was actually used as a THX trailer, as it originated as simply a gag in the season 5 episode Burns as Air. But THX liked it so much that they adapted it into its own trailer. I like how over the top this trailer is, like one guy's head literally explodes due to the sheer power of the deep note. Grandpa Simpson yelling turn it up at the end is also pretty funny. 
The reason why this isn't higher up on the list is because, like I said, this wasn't originally made to be a THX trailer. And also, I don't really get why they added the blue rectangle from the Broadway trailer at the beginning. It doesn't really fit all that well. Number 15, Horton. This is one of two THX trailers made to promote a specific movie. In this case, it's Horton Here's a Who. Something about movie characters interacting with the THX logo is just really funny to me. I don't know why, although in this case they're not exactly interacting with the logo, I'm also reacting to it. I'd probably like this trailer more if I'd actually seen the movie, but I haven't, so that's why it's only at number 15. However, I do like how they adapted their slogan to fit the movie. That was pretty clever. Number 14, Shrek. The second of the two trailers made to promote a movie. This time, however, it's Shrek the Third, which is a movie that I have seen, unfortunately. But seeing as I am a fan of the first two Shrek films, I love the idea of Shrek and Donkey being the ones creating the deep note, even if it doesn't make sense at all. Even better is the fact that they were hiding behind the logo, which implies that they play the deep note in every other trailer, which is pretty funny to think about. Number 13, Grand. One of the few trailers not to use the traditional deep note, Grand is probably one of the weirdest looking THX trailers. I'm not sure what the red smoke is supposed to represent, or why it changes the blue towards the end, but it looks kind of cool I guess. I do like the animation of the THX logo at the end, which does look quite impressive at the time. As for the audio, this is probably the most terrifying sounding THX trailer ever. I mean just listen to it. This, combined with the red smoke, makes it seem like the trailer literally takes place in hell. And the substitute deep note sounds fine. Not better than the original, of course, but it doesn't sound bad. Overall, a strange trailer, but not a bad one. Number 12, Bounty. Made to celebrate THX's 20th anniversary, I actually really like the concept of this trailer. What better way to celebrate 20 years of making great movies come alive by having clips of said movies play inside the THX logo. The effect really does look great, especially with how the clips are blurred out. There isn't really much else to say about this trailer other than that it's simple, effective, and a great way to celebrate THX's 20th anniversary. Number 11, Eclipse. Often considered to be the scariest THX trailer, it's not hard to see why Eclipse was feared by so many. The main thing you'll probably notice about this trailer is the new deep note. It's now even louder and slightly higher pitched. I'd say I still prefer the original, but I do like this new rendition, even if it was underutilized. As for the animation, it's pretty good. In fact, all of the trailers from this point are at the very least pretty good. I like how the eclipse resembles the iris of the human eye. It looks very beautiful. And the shot way at the end is very well timed with the deep note. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is the color scheme. I know that it takes place in space, so it makes sense to be lacking in colour, but I'd still prefer it if there were some other colours, other than black and white. Number 10, Sphere. This is a trailer that, as far as I know, was only ever used online, which is a shame because it's really quite good. I like how each object that appears in this trailer changes its material. I don't know why, but I just think it looks really cool. However, I do wish that the liquid line thing at the beginning was connected to the creation of the sphere in some way as it just kind of feels a bit pointless, honestly. The effect at the end with the sphere exploding into all those blue lines which form the THX logo is also pretty nice, and strangely reminds me of the fractal fire boost from Rocket League. Is that just me? I don't know. Overall, this is a trailer that really should have been used more. Number 9, Tex vs the Robot. Another trailer that has only been used online. This is the fourth Tex trailer to be released and the first one to appear on this list, which just goes to show how good the other ones are. But as for this one, it's honestly pretty cute. It features Tex trying to put an orb into a socket, while his drone companion Bob just wants to play with it. At the end, Bob gets sad that they can't play with it anymore, but then Tex likes him to slam dunk it into the socket, and then they first open, why is this so adorable, it's just a sound system trailer. <clears throat> Where was I? Oh yeah. I also like how this takes place in the same spaceship scene in the Genesis trailer, as it establishes some continuity between these trailers. I do hope this trailer gets used more, but unfortunately it's not looking likely. Number 8, Tex 2, Mukan. 
This is one of the TH Extra Lizards I have the most nostalgia for, as it appeared on my DVDs of Monsters Inc. and Toy Story 2. Which you would know if you watched the DVD openings of them. However, I've decided not to let my nostalgic bias get in the way of this ranking. Still, this is a pretty great trailer, and yet another one not to use the Deep Note. However, this time this trailer actually justifies not using it, as the logo is connected to a Moo Can, which makes it so the Deep Note is played using cow noises. I don't know who at THX thought, I know what we should do for our next trailer, have the Deep Note be made up of cows mooing. But it works surprisingly well, and it's pretty funny. I especially like how the logo just starts going crazy at the end. So much so the text just straight up leaves. Overall, a bizarre concept for a trailer, but it's executed very well. Number 7. Musical Wisps When I said I wished Eclipse had more colour, this is what I meant. The sheer amount of colours combined with the unique patterns created by the two light trails made this trailer absolutely breathtaking in my opinion. I will say that the thinner THX logo at the end does look a little weird, but it hardly takes away from the beauty of this trailer. The only problem I have is that this trailer was never actually used. Yeah, this trailer was only a prototype that was available on THX's website in 2012. It's such a shame because I feel like if this trailer was actually used, it would probably be a favourite of many. But this is still a great trailer and I hope more people know about it now because of this video. Number 6, Cimarron. Probably one of the most infamous trailers on this list. Cimarron is unique in that it has two completely different soundtracks. The original only being used for the first two years of its existence, before being replaced due to its supposedly breaking cinema speakers. The second soundtrack, composed by James Horner, is definitely my preferred soundtrack of the two, but I do find the original quite interesting due to the fact that it was lost until fairly recently. But onto the actual trailer, I really like the look of the whole wormhole sequence. It really makes you feel like you're being transported to another dimension. I also like how the THX logo flies past the screen. It's a nice change from every other trailer, which just features the logo in the middle of the screen at the end. It also looks really, really impressive at the time. Also, shout outs to whoever's hand this is. That's pretty good acting right there. Number 5, Tex. This is probably the trailer I have the most nostalgia for, even more so than the Moocan trailer. I can definitely remember being somewhat unsettled by this logo, which is likely due to the fact that the logo just straight up breaks at the beginning. But thankfully Tex arrives to fix it in his first ever appearance. I always wondered what exactly it is that he's hammering and soaring away out off screen, as all he ends up needing to do is pull a switch inside the T to get the logo up and running again. Well, I suppose we'll never know. Also I never noticed that he mutters Oh George, referencing George Lucas, which is a pretty cool detail. Also I gotta say, giving THX a mascot was a great idea. It adds so much personality to these trailers, it's just a shame that text didn't appear in more of them. Overall, while I do have a slight nostalgic bias, it doesn't take away from the fact that this is a fantastic trailer with tons of charm. Number 4, Tex 3, Action. Yet another trailer that really should have lasted longer than it did. Tex 3, in my opinion, is the best of the Tex trailers, although you've probably already known that considering the other three have already appeared on this list. The name Action really fits this trailer as there's a lot that happens here. Tex literally gets sucks inside of a BMW, and we get to see him interacting with, or rather getting thrown about, all these different moving parts. Now I'm no car expert, so I don't know how much, if any, of this trailer is accurate, but is this part of the car supposed to explode? I don't know, it seems a little bit concerning, but hey, the car seems fine, so maybe it's supposed to happen. Also, I love how Tex just flies headfirst into the THX logo, that's pretty funny. It's a massive shame this trailer wasn't used a whole lot, as I really think it deserved to be. Also, did this trailer remind anyone else of that one scene from Turbo? Is that just me? Probably. Number 3, Cavalcade. I remember how I said I liked how Sphere had objects that changed material. Well, the same applies here, but I like how this trailer does it more. The way the glass sphere shatters, then melts into what looks like water, which then becomes the THX logo, which is metallic. It makes no sense, but damn it, it looks awesome. I especially like the beginning of the trailer where we see the sphere with a literal thunderstorm inside of it. I've heard of capturing lightning in a bottle, but this is something else. I also like that the ending resembles a modernized version of the Broadway trailer. That's a cool reference. There's also a really cool Terminator 2 variant that was only ever seen on the DVD of that movie. Which I was honestly considering including as its own entry, but Avid does consider it a variant of Cavalcade, so I decided to leave it out. 
Number two, Amazing Life. Amazing is definitely the right word to use here because my god is this a beautiful trailer. I love how all these different plants are somehow able to make musical sounds. It's a really interesting concept and I think it's done really well here. Even though it's not realistic at all, these genuinely seem like the kinds of sounds these plants would make if they were able to. But even then, the animation here is so good that it almost looks real. If it wasn't for those metal plants and the fact that everything is growing out of the THX logo, I'd almost believe this was live action footage. Going back to the audio, I love how all the different sounds come together at the end. It's a really great showcase for a sound system, and I imagine it would have sounded great in a cinema. There's not really much else to say other than that this is a wonderful trailer, and it would have been THX's best if it wasn't for... Number 1, Genesis. I guess I don't remember when this trailer was first released, and just being in absolute awe watching it for the first time. Almost 4 years later and yep, nothing has really changed. This is truly breathtaking, an absolute work of art. There's so many things I just love about this trailer. The animation is absolutely phenomenal, the, easily the best of any on this list. There's several callbacks to previous trailers such as the plants from Amazing Life, and even a cameo from Tex in the spaceship. There's probably even more that I just didn't notice because there's just that much going on here. And the THX logo being this gigantic space station is just amazing. I also really like how the deep note keeps getting interrupted. It's like they're teasing us throughout the trailer, like, here it comes, oh, no, no, it's something else. It's a really cool effect. I could go on about how truly incredible this trailer is, but I'd probably be here all day, so I'll just leave it here. So that's all 22 THX trailers ranked from worst to best. Here's a complete ranking for those that were too lazy to watch the entire thing. Or if you just forgot where some of the trailers ranked. But that's all from today's video, so remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and consider turning on notifications. Thank you for watching ALTV.